Hi again. So, on the third tutorial that I did, the side ponytail one, I had a comment left by a really awesome lady who suggested that if you had very long hair, you could twist your hair um, in with the, the scarf twist. And we agreed that that would look really awesome. Um, as you might have noticed, I don't have long hair. So I was kind of sad because I really liked that idea and I really wanted to do it. Um, so I came up with a kind of similar variation. Um, for people with short hair, we'll see how this goes. So we're starting with our standard, uh, the Walmart scarf, which is 68 by 24 inches. Um, I folded it a little bit, you can see, because I want it to reach from here to the nape of my neck, and I don't want too much left hanging at my neck. So I'm going to put it over the top of my head with the middle centered on the top of my head and make sure that the ends are even. Then the other scarf we're using is what I, one thing I use for a hip scarf, which is just a poncho, um, triangular shaped poncho. You could do this with two rectangular scarves too. I like the look of this one because it has a lot of fringe on it and it looks really neat. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to center it on my head, make sure the ends are even, and it's going to go right over the top of the first scarf. So you're bringing both ends of both scarves round to their respective sides. It's okay, especially if you're using a triangular one, to have some drape down at uh, the nape of your neck because it'll get either twined in or it'll just hang down and it'll look fine. Um, now this one doesn't slip too terribly much, but if you have problems um, keeping scarves centered on your head while you're doing this, my favorite thing is to take a, like a cheap plastic headband, a thick one, and stick it right over the top of both the scarves before I start twisting them and, and tying them um, because it'll hold it down to my head well enough and then I can just take it off when I'm done and the scarves will usually hold um, on me. Your mileage may vary depending on what your head is like. So we're going to start on the right side and what we're going to do is we're going to twist them both in the same direction. I'm going to start, I'm going to twist mine both clockwise. Okay. So you're twisting them separately, you can see. Then once you've got it twisted up a little bit, you're going to twist them around each other, just like in the other, the other tutorial. Um, and basically the rule of thumb is whatever direction you're twisting each individual piece, when you twist them together, you twist in the opposite direction. So I'm twisting them clockwise, and when I twist them around each other, they're going counterclockwise. If you do it with this, like this this way, where your right side, um, the pieces are being twisted clockwise and twisting around each other counterclockwise, this top scarf will be what comes in and covers the edge of your hair and your ear. Um, if you want this under scarf to show more, you're going to twist, want to twist it in the other direction. So twist and twist and twist until you get to the point where you want to stop it and have the ends dangling. And you can finish it off um, in a lot of different ways. You could put a rubber band right there, or a piece of string, or yarn, or um, you can tie these ends together. The easiest and I think best looking way, um, although a rubber band would look pretty good too, would blend right in, um, is to take one of the ends like this, wrap it around the entire thing. Okay. So you wrapped it around, you can see my fingers are underneath the wrap and then take the loose end and go in top to bottom, stick it underneath that loop, and pull it down. It'll tie the ends off, and then when the ends hang, they'll all hang down. If you just tie it in like a square knot, the ends are going to stick out like this, and it's not necessarily the best look. So, that's one side. And, as you might have guessed, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but opposite. So on this one, I really should have written this down, but I'm fairly sure I went twisting clockwise, twisting them together counterclockwise. So on this side, I'm going to twist them counterclockwise. I should hope I'm right on this. I'm going to have to read this whole video. And then I'm going to twist them around each other clockwise. And uh, you can see 
of the outer scarf is the one that's covering my ear. You don't have to cover your ears, by the way. You can tuck the scarf behind your ears um, before you start. This is where that headband idea comes in really handy. So, And again, you're just going to twist and twist and twist. And you don't have to twist far if you don't want to. You could totally stop it like right here and just have the look of a long um, pigtail rather than a long twist. I really like this idea. I'm tempted to wear it all the time. <laughs> um, probably not with the red and the white, unless I was going to a White Stripes concert, which I totally would go. So Jack White, if you really like my videos, you should send me some pictures. Okay. So that's it. You get the other end tied off. And this, I was really surprised when I got it done the first time. It's really snug. It really doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. Now the only problem is that, you know, I, I have my ears covered. If I tuck the scarves behind my ears, not only does it make me look like Fievel from American Tail, um, it suddenly wants to slip backwards some more. So I would probably, in my case, with my little pea-sized head, would leave my ears just partially covered. And then, for a little added security and some extra pretty, I'm going to put a, a flower clip in or bobby pins. Um, this would actually be a really nice one if you were going to do some like chain mail draping or something like that on top of your hair because it, the scarves will keep your um, hair from getting tangled up in the jewelry and things like that. So, And may I mention, the lady that made the comment about how cool it would be if you could wrap your hair in there, she makes really nice flower and feather hair falls way cooler than mine. She sells them. I don't. That should be an indicator right there. <laughs> so. That is, what am I going to call this one? We're going to call it the quad, because it's two scarves and two twists, so two and two, that's four. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like that one. I really do. And uh, the next one I'll do is a variation of this that doesn't look as cool, but it's a little easier to do. So, there you go. Enjoy.